Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at some very interesting identities that result from performing certain operations on binomials. Some of you may have already seen these identities, so for those of you who have, this is going to be a review. But for those who haven't, you're about to discover some very interesting shortcuts that you may use. So, for today's subtitle in your notebook, please put down interesting binomial identities. There are three main identities. Let's start with the first one. In your notebook, please put number one. And the first identity we'll be looking at is the square of a sum. Now, what do I mean by the square of a sum? I mean exactly that. I mean a sum. Suppose you have a plus b, and the whole thing being squared. Square of a sum. Well, let's take a look at what this is going to give us. Don't forget what squaring means. It means an object multiplied by itself twice. So I'm going to rewrite this using that definition. a plus b multiplied by a plus b. Let's simplify this. Don't forget how to do your double distribution. We get a squared plus ab plus another ab plus b squared. The two ab's can be put together, thereby giving us a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Well, this is interesting. There is a pattern to this. There is a way to get straight from the beginning all the way to the end while cutting out the, the middle work. Let's take a look. In your notebook, please put down a plus b squared. Skip a few lines and put down the answer a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Let's take a look at how the shortcut works. The first term in the binomial, the a, all you have to do is square that, and that will give you the first term in our answer. The second term in the binomial, the b, you can square that, and that's going to give you the third term in our answer. Now the interesting part is the middle term. How do we get that? Well, it's pretty easy. All you have to do is take the two terms a and the b, multiply them, and then multiply by 2. And that will give us the middle term. It's a wonderful shortcut, and it really helps to shorten a lot of your work. So, let's put down the official identity. In an important color, please, in your notebook, please put down a plus b squared is, in fact, equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And please surround that in a nice red box. There you go. Now, there are a couple of danger points. One being, obviously don't make an arithmetic mistake, but the main thing being, a lot of people do tend to forget the middle term. So you might want to make yourself a note at this point not to forget the middle term. All right, let's try some examples to see this particular identity in action. Please put ex. Let's start with a nice easy one. Let's try 2x plus 3y squared. Well, let's apply the ident identity. Take the first term, the 2x, and square it. That will give you 4x squared. Take the second term and square that. So 3y all squared is going to give you 9y squared. Notice I skipped a bit of space. The middle space is for the middle term, which comes from doing the 2x times 3y times 2. And that will give you plus 12xy. I skipped the space in the middle, so 
it helps remind myself that I have to fill it in with the middle term. Let's try another example, a slightly tougher one. Put EX, please. Let's take a look at this particular binomial being squared. I want you to put 2x squared y plus 4xy all squared. Alright, let's apply the shortcut. So take the first term, the 2x squared y, and square it. That will give you 4x to the 4y squared. Now, take the second term, the 4xy, and square that. That will give you the final term in our answer, which will be 16x squared y squared. Again, notice I left myself a bit of space for the middle term, which in this case will be plus 2 times 4 is 8 times 2, which is 16, x to the power of 3, and y to the power of 2. There we go. I think it's time for you guys to try one on your own. Put ex, please. Try this particular example. 5x plus 2y all squared. Pause the video now and take a moment to try it. After you're done, unpause the video and compare your work with mine. Go ahead, do it now. Okay, let's see how you guys did. Equals. So the first term squared will give me 25x squared. The second term squared will give me 4y squared. And the middle term will give me plus 20xy. How'd you guys do? Good stuff. Alright, let's go on to the second identity. The second identity will be very, very similar to the first one. So please put 2. And the name of the second identity is square of a difference. Let's take a look at what that will result in. So, a minus b, that is a difference. Remember, difference is a technical word for subtraction. You put the square. Let's expand this. This will be a minus b multiplied by another a minus b. That will give us a squared minus ab minus another ab. And negative b times negative b give us plus b squared. Very similar to identity number one, except notice the second term. This time it's negative 2ab. Interesting. Let's put that down in our official important color. The identity is a minus b squared is equal to a squared minus 2 ab plus b squared, almost the same as the first identity. And, like usual, please surround that with a nice red box. Now don't forget, there is a middle term, the middle term that most people keep forgetting. You might want to put a note down for yourself right now. Alright, let's try some examples. Why don't you put ex, please? Let's see this in action. I want you to do 2x minus 5y squared. Well, let's take a look. Take the first term and square it. That'll give us 4x squared. Take the second term, square it. That'll give us 25y squared. And for the middle term, Multiply them together, and then times 2, so that will give us 20xy. And the only difference is that the middle term now is a subtraction. Very nice identity. Alright, 
I think it's time for you guys to try one on your own. Why don't you put the X? Why don't you give this one a shot? 3x squared minus 4y and then all squared. Pause the video and try it now. Alright, let's see how you guys did. So I'm going to take my first term and square it. So that will give me 9x to the 4. I'll take the second term and square that. So that will give me plus 16y squared. And the middle term, 3 times 4 is 12, times 2 is 24. So it's going to be minus 24x squared y. Very nice identity, very similar to the first one. All right, and let's go on to the third one. Please put number three. And the third one is very interesting. It is called product of two conjugates. Well, first things first, what does the word conjugate mean? Well, conjugate defines two binomials that are almost identical except for the sign between them, such as the following. A plus B is a binomial and its conjugate is A minus B. Just the sign is different. Now let's see what happens if you were to multiply them. A plus B times A minus B. Let's do a double distribution. So we get A squared plus A B minus A B and minus B squared. Let's simplify that. A squared. Here's the interesting part. 1AB minus 1AB gives us 0. So the ABs are gone. And the negative B squared is still there. Ah, oh, look at that. No middle term. Very interesting. How does this happen? Well, let's take a look. How can we go from the beginning right to the end? Please, in your notebook, put the two conjugates a plus b times a minus b. Skip a few lines and put the answer a squared minus b squared. And let's take a look at how it happens. To get the first term in the answer, you just take the first term in your binomial, you square it. To get the second term, you take the second term in your binomial and you square that. And here's the important thing. There is no middle term. But the sign between these two terms must always be a subtraction. And that's important. So, let's put down the official identity in our important color. So, the, our conclusion is that a plus b times a minus b gives us a squared minus b squared. Again, surround it in a nice red box, please. All right. And there's no danger with this one. So, let's try a few examples of this identity. Put EX, please. All right. Let's try a nice easy one. Suppose you have 2X plus 5 multiplied by 2X minus 5. Notice that the binomials are very, very similar except for the sign. Let's try our identity. Take the first term and square it. That'll give us 4x squared. Take the second term and square it. That'll give us 25. And the sign in between them is always a subtraction. Why don't you try one on your own? Put the x. Give this one a shot. 4xy plus 2z multiplied by 4xy minus 2z. Pause the video and try it now. Alright, let's see how you guys did. So I'm going to take the first term and square it. That will give me 
x squared y squared. And take the second term, square that. That will give us 4z squared. And then it's a subtraction between them. There we go. Those are three very, very interesting identities involving certain operations on binomials. I'll see you guys tomorrow.